Well, thanks very much for coming for the Ford piano. My name's John Ford. And I appreciate you showing up. Thank you. Is the reflection from my head bothering me? Oh, my God. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, I used to attract, try to catch women's eyes. Right? Anyhow, that's neither here nor there. But thank you for coming to Ford Piano. We do anything with a piano, we'll do it. And we've been in business since 1897. Wow. I look good for my age, don't I? <laughs> my grandfather started it, and you could say we're starting to get the hang of it now. There you go. After a while. And so, anyhow, we have these little get togethers once in a while. And thanks for coming. And enjoy this character. He is what I call a monster. He, People call him a monster. He, he's a very learned player. I like to think of him as a virtuoso, and I'm happy to call him a friend. Please, let's give him a Ford piano welcome. Dave Frank. Yes.
name is Dave. Thank you very much for coming today. It's a pleasure to be here at one of the great piano stores in this whole area. And I thank John for <coughs> making it available for us today. My name is Dave Frank, and uh, I've devoted pretty much every single moment of my life practicing on a piano. <laughs> um, at first, I was forced to play by my, my uh, mother, who was a piano teacher. And uh, I rebelled against that when I was 11 and stopped playing. I said, I'm not going to take any more lessons. And then when I was 12, I discovered Elton John and B.B. King and have not stopped playing since. And my mother said she created her own monster. <laughs> That's along the lines of the monster. It's my mother who created her own monster. Uh, what I love about this instrument is two things. One is the legacy that we've been given as pianists with all different styles and different um, great different geniuses and players in the last uh, few hundred years. There's so much to draw from in terms of material and harmony and melody. And it's just endless and the piano can do it all. You can, you can play melody, harmony and rhythm at the same time. And that's what makes it so compelling for me. And the second thing is uh, all the different types of feelings that the piano can express. And so uh, that's what I want to do today is just play some different kind of styles and different feelings just to get a sense of what the instrument is capable of.
<laughs> that was done in the style of my teacher, who his name is Lenny Tristano. When I was very young, I had an opportunity to study with one of the great masters of jazz who developed a walking bass line. And so that style has stayed with me forever. It's a wonderful style. Saves a lot of money on bass players.
about some time ago.
tune called Prayer at St. Patrick's. If my Jewish grandmother found out about it, she'd roll over in her grave. <laughs>
Chris. Thank you so much for being here today. I have to thank John, wherever he is back there. Thank you. Uh, it's a beautiful place that John's got here. It's uh, the pianos are excellent, and uh, John is just the best. So um, uh, you, we're really lucky to have this space in uh, this part of Westchester, and I hope you'll come back to uh, buy some pianos. Uh, I'm going to finish up with another version of what I was doing earlier um, when I was. 15, I had the opportunity again to study with Lenny Tristano, and he developed this walking bass line style where he was essentially simulating the bass with his left hand. And when we had a lesson with him, uh, he was blind, so that was very interesting. So he, was, he would be sitting in a sofa against the wall, and we would do our exercises. There was a kind of a routine of doing some scales, exercises, and then some chords. And then inevitably at some point, he would lean back and he would go, turn it loose. And what he meant by that was enough of the exercises, time to play. One time when I was about 16 years old, he stopped a lesson I was having with him and he said, okay, Dave, you're in Yankee Stadium. There's 78,000 screaming fans, and you have one chorus. One, two, one, two, three, four, boom. That was uh, kind of a lot to take. Uh, I played something okay, and he said, that was all right. He goes, but remember, whenever you're playing a concert in the future, you can't say you should have heard me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to dedicate this last tune to Lenny, and it's called Turning It Loose.
much for coming. Um, if you want to, uh, I live nearby. I live in Peekskill, and we have a lovely uh, jazz scene here. Uh, I have parties at my house once or twice a month with some of the great uh, jazz musicians in New York City, and it's free, open to the public. And my wife is a yoga teacher, and she teaches a yoga workshop before the jazz. So we have jazz yoga nights once or twice a month. And uh, if you would like to be involved in this stuff, perhaps we can just get uh, something they can write their email address on. Is that all right, John? Okay, and so you're all invited. Thank you very much. I have some CDs if you're interested. Thanks for coming. Thank you.